In this video, we are recommending pet-friendly spots for you to dine and enjoy together with your fur kids. Let's see how much Joy's dog enjoys the treats. <laughs> Welcome to Food Finders! Oh, wait, <laughs> and we have a special guest with us today! Woo! His name is Monty and he's a two-year-old Shiba Inu. He's here What's to help point? test out some of the dishes right. for our pet-friendly restaurants today. What is your criteria for like good oh. pet-friendly places? Comfort and also the food has to be good. Like the food for your fur kid? No, the food for humans. for humans! Oh no, his private parts are showing on oh. camera. So we are at this place in Dempsey called Mr. Bucket Chocolatery. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit <laughs> ironic, but they don't serve chocolate to, to dogs, dogs, of course. Oh. Come on, let's go! Let's go! This area is actually a free tasting section where we encourage people, even though they're just walking in, for them to just sample a few chocolates. So we have a range of house-made things from single origin bars, community bars, which we work with um, other local partners, house-made um, chocolate spreads, and cacao wine. Yes. When it comes to chocolate making process, the actual cacao fruit, it has this white flesh surrounding it. So it's similar oh. to sarsap, and people tend to throw that away in the chocolate making process. And when we found out that there's this uh, farmer in Vietnam, he does his own small batch of cacao wine. We wanted to work with him to see how we can do it. So, here you go. It's similar to port, so people use it as a dessert wine. So it does taste like port. Mmm, plum It almost tastes like yumeshu. It is so good. Yeah, I kind of want to buy yeah. it. <laughs> Cheers! Oh, it tastes like port. Oh, it's like a How's Monty doing? Jishing is feeding him the popsicle because he is very lazy. But how do you like the chocolate? Really interesting in terms of the profile. It's not like the regular hot chocolate that so you would get anywhere. But this has a lot more of like the roasted uh, flavors. Yes. So this is a uh, rosemary marshmallow. Ooh. Oh wow, it's spicy. <clears throat> oh, it's good. Oh, well, it's so interesting. The rosemary Maybe. is so strong. I love their presentation of everything. It's like very well thought out. Yes, bonbon. <laughs> oh. Oh, Whoa. I initially thought it was going to be like a very hard chocolate, but inside it's like liquidy. Mm, explodes in your mouth. Mm. Oh damn, the soy sauce works. But you can't really taste the soy sauce that much. It's just like yeah. little hints here and there. It's blended into like a caramel thing. You do get a bit of like the ferment from the soy sauce. Oh shit, this is actually really good. Holy shit, that's huge. That's what she says. The shawarma spice chicken and egg muffin. Mine is the pulled beef cheek sammy. <laughs> Oh wow. I actually really like this. The spice meat really comes through with the turmeric. Got yeah, the whole like Middle Eastern kind of That's vibe. That's why it's called shawarma. I first taste the garlic and then after you taste the chocolate sauce, like I was a bit afraid I was going to taste really sweet. But it's not as uh, chocolatey as I imagine. The garlic sauce overpowers it a little bit because I ate it from here. But I think after that, the pulled beef is pretty good. It's like mustard. Nose flaming flavor. Yep. I like the caramelized onion for this. Made with their famous tata wine. Which I think fits really well. You can't even tell. I mean, I love that everything is made with chocolate. At least in keeping with the theme, yes. right? Yes. They have two sides. This side is for pets only. The other side is for humans without pets. And they have a little sign back there that tells you how to see if your dog has chocolate poisoning, which is really yeah. funny. I'm gonna cut this in half, yeah? Oh, wow. I okay, thought it was a, really hard. Give me a spoon. Whoa. Oh, it really just freaking melts. It melts in my yeah. mouth. Should I just break it? Break it. Oh, yes. it's also very soft. Mmm. A little chocolate cookie. More sweeter. The This ganache is like dark chocolate. Yeah. Okay, and this is lassi. the lassi. Let's have a scoop. Looks like yogurt. I like how they made an item that is a popular dessert in India, you know what I mean? Like a lassi. Uh -huh. So they made it relay back to where they got the cocoa from. Oh yeah, it's very yogurty. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, and Madeline kind of thing. I think the portions are really nice. Lemony. I'm confused about this. Our Madeline is usually lemon. Yeah, it's like a lot more lemony. Interesting. And the last one, peanut okay, chocolate. Okay. Ooh, oh, wow. Okay, okay nothing, what's nothing, going nothing, on here? Okay, so you're just gonna drink the whole thing? It actually tastes like a pinot colada, but <laughs> non-alcoholic. I'm still more impressed by the double soy sauce bonbon uh. though. That's, that's why I can't get that out of my mind. Like all these, great, but bonbon, oh, amazing. I think, personally, I like this set You like better. This, this set better? <laughs> oh man, the bonbons Because it's like, like a bit of everything, I like that. So that's it for Mr. Bucket Chocolate here. Is it chocolate here? Chocolatery. How do you think Monty found it? He's sad because it's raining, but he's, he's happy because he got a little pup. 
I can't wait to see feel? what he will get next. Come on, Monty, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa! Urban hideout. <laughs> this is the only okay. place that is indoor pet friendly oh, yeah. in the north. They allow dogs inside, which is really nice. Monty's so, already in there waiting for it's us. It's so cute. He's like sitting on, on the bench. And they have food for dogs as well. And they have food for dogs as well. We're excited to try it out and see if the human food is just as good as the dog food. How will you know whether the dog food is good? Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, what's this? Oh, what's that, Monty? Mm -hmm. Oh, we so have the uh, owner of Urban uh, Hideout here. Why do you start this pet friendly cafe? I, I love Western food. My wife loves coffee and loves gelato with waffles. Yeah. So I say, why not do we do something that is in our passion? Uh. Then I can bring my dog in every day when I go. You have one dog? Uh, I have uh, one. Her name is Yuki. One. So if you're ever curious like me, where you want to try out your dog's food, these are actually human grade food, just that they don't have seasoning. So I can actually eat these pork meatballs. Okay, get okay. up. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, is it too big? Do you need to, I don't know, cut it? Is it too big? Like, would it drop? Yeah, it's like, ah! Oh, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh my he's, god. Keep going. <laughs> Control yourself. Hey, sit, sit. See, now that he's comfortable, he knows there's food involved, he'll do tricks. High five, high five. Oh, now he can do, high five. oh! Okay, Well, now you yeah, know. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, take five. <laughs> we have to eat too. Monty, chill. chill, chill. Okay, so, Monty, sit. Sit. So, our dog is. Oh bite. my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's like, <laughs> we'll feed you later again. But we gotta try human food first. Okay. Uh, what do you have? A rusty? We're gonna we're gonna try a the rusty, rusty with a sausage. This is a eggs royale waffle. waffle. Here we have the fish and chips. It's a halibut. Oh, cool. This oh, is a very rosemary. soft roasty with a lot of rosemary. The rosemary, yeah, very, very rosemary. Okay, great. Like Thank you for that comment. Okay, the consistency feels more like the aji tama kind of thing. How do you find the waffles? I think the waffles are very standalone from the Stand egg benny. It's a bit tough to mix them together. Okay. I do like the rosti. Yeah, I think the rosti is like soft inside as well. Yeah. Feels yeah. like they use Butter fresh potatoes. Normally it's... Um, excuse me, what's going on here? Leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, go. Okay, Good you're job. done. Now we can get back to us eating. Back to the halibut fish and chips. These are beer battered, if I'm Ooh. not wrong. Yes. No, no. That's not no, for you, Monty. No, Monty, no. You can't eat Now this. he's getting greedy. The halibut is not overly dry. I think that's a good thing. It's still pretty tender, flaky. The batter is quite light. It's not like very powdery or heavy as uh, any other like yeah. fish and chips. Pretty decent meal. cafe food. And so. they have a membership program where you can scan to join. Free registration to join. And then you can get a $5 voucher for your next meal here. And they have like a whole bunch yep. of like benefits for cash back. This is waffles with gelato. Here we have speculus and ramen raisin. Mm. So Pop it all off with my personal hometown yep. favorite. Right? National Maybe Product. Syrup. I really like the ramen raisin. It's very boozy, very rummy. And the waffle is really, really sweet. I like the speculus and waffle combo because the waffle Why is not speculous? sweet at all. I like that the batter is, is kind of airy, but outside still crispy. Yeah. It actually goes really well. Oh, wow. Oh, ramen. Ramen wow. is good, right? It's very rummy. That's actually pretty good gelato. And we're done here at the Urban Hideout. Monty, yes, oh, we're Monty's here. Oh, Mon now. Monty's done. But we still have two more spots to go, Monty. Monty say bye. Okay. So we're here at Toto Seafood. As you can see, there is a giant grouper flown oh. in from Taiwan yesterday. Yesterday, and this will be served with the steamboat that we're gonna try later. Bigger than Monty, this actually. Is bigger than Monty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have the owner of Toto Seafood here. Maybe we can go. This is the uh, giant grouper steamboat. We do it a Teochew style. This is the Ipo curry fish head. Most of the normal one they use are curry powder. Yeah. For us, it's, we blend all the material, raw material. You want to make your own spice. There's yeah. no so curry powder. When you try it, it's a bit different <laughs> from uh -huh. others. Yeah. Okay. This is the uh, egg steam uh, crab. Then we have now Como, two crab for 88. And okay. this is a uh, Guinness style uh, crab. And the uh, uh, shop name as Toto is after my dog. Toto, uh, yeah. Toto is not here, right? He oh. works on the weekend, Friday, he Saturday. Works uh, Normally, if you want to bring pets, it's only cafe with yeah. outdoor seating. Uh. I thought of creating something like right, you know, right. we want some Chinese food and bring right, right. our dog around.
Thank yeah? you so okay. much. Enjoy, yeah. enjoy. Thank right. you. Yeah, thank you. I think a nice thing here is there is free parking as well because this whole compound is with Toto. Toto's right under the building. With Toto. With Toto. Why does it remind me of Toto Wolf? I was thinking, no, no, Mike. And they don't charge service charge, which is also very interesting. I love fish and curry. Ooh. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh. They don't use curry powder and they're able to get that like mm. same taste and like yeah. texture almost. Oh, the fish is super good though. The fish is really soft and really nicely cooked. And it's super flavorful curry. I am amazed that no curry powder has been added. The, the meat is so tender. Okay, but we have to move on to the... Steamboat. Freaking steamboat that's still boiling. So this is the same fish that we had just saw. But not the exact same fish, but yeah. it is that type of fish. Yes, but the steamboat and the curry is a different fish. Right? So this is Grouper. This is Snapper. We've lost Monty in this episode. It's just chilling down beneath it's us. Oh, the soup is good. Oh shit, it's actually pretty good. Oh my wow. god. Wow, it's very flavorful. The broth is super flavorful. Yeah. There's quite a lot of ingredients inside. Yam, and that's the uh, you know, meat cut skin, vegetables. I like the collagen I I saw, I had that like too. Part of the, the head, I think. Zoom in on that. Ah! Well, this makes my skin beautiful. It's so good. It's either like a lot of comment or like no, no comment. comment. That means that he really enjoys it. It's the salted egg. egg. Uh, they're huge. Oh, crispy. Crunchy, outside Crunchy. texture. I think they got the batter pretty well done. It clings on to the eggplant. Wait, what is this. all that? This egg. Oh my god. This steamed egg. What? Underneath the crab, you have steamed egg. Holy yep. shit. I would say that you can taste the ginger, but the crab is still there. It's very tender. I'm actually Where? quite excited about the Guinness cap. And the flavor is really interesting. There's like this slight bitterness from like mm. the stout, a little bit sweet. I um, think when it comes to like beer flavored items, I always yeah. expect the beer flavor to come out like super uh -huh. strong. This one is probably the it strongest pretty, so far. It is really, yeah. I prefer the steamed crab texture. Yep. So if it can be a combination of two, that would be awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! Okay. So like at the end of your meal, can I keep it? Maybe I'll become a millionaire. Someone has actually wanted What? How much? 838k. I'm keeping this for my sale. This might be Joy's last episode. Oh my god! And so that's it for Toto Seafood. Let's go see if uh, the next spot will be more exciting for... My Monty. little Monty. So we're now walking to Kantiki. This is the last place on the agenda for today. He's pulling, but I'm not sure if he knows where he's going. No, that's another way. Monty, you want to talk? Monty, you want to talk? It's for you. You want to take out the egg? Oh, he's eating the cauliflower. Oh, he ate cauliflower. I'm I think he's trying the cauliflower. Yeah. Are you going for salad? Yeah. Yes, I'm going to go for salad. The salad is a very clean salad, just like how a salad should be. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Uh, there's no dressing on. There is. It's like a vinaigrette. I'm gonna go for this uh, blooming onion. Blooming onion is not that common, I think. How do you make it? Cut you it cut, into right? like a flour thing and then batter and then deep fry the whole thing. I like it. It's a good snack. Separating or deshelling the prawn. Mmm, some bad vibes about it. Wait, 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 why? You'll find out when you eat it. And eat it. How's it? No, it's pretty juicy. So it's not like machi or what, right? Mm -mm. Oh yeah. Uh, I wasn't mistaken. Actually pretty okay. It's chewy and it's nicely cooked. Is it me or like the pasta always? I always feel like I end up eating two al dente pasta. And you're always saying like, it's not bad though. It's like al dente, not bad. Ah! I think there were some parts that were a bit harder. Yeah. But flavor is nice. I feel like the texture and the flavor of the prawn is good. And mm. that kind of like helps to overpower the yes. pasta. And that's one thing about yeah. eating here is that there are some flies around. But it is outdoors. That's kind of how, yeah. like what you have uh -huh. to deal with. I always get the bone marrow whenever I come here. Ooh. Oh, packed with a lot of, I think their own seasoning. Very beefy, very soft. It's a bit on the salty side. The thing is like, sometimes bone marrow can taste a bit too much. Mm. I think the sauce gives it a bit more of that yep. crunchiness, so it's uh -huh. not so bad. But yeah, you're right, it is a bit salty. That's the point of like bone marrow, the butteriness of it. And you're saying you could potentially boil the bones for, for oh, monkey yes. to like chew on? You can boil it so that it gets rid of all the excess like fat. They can just chew on the bone itself. Okay. Well, it fell off really quickly and nicely. Yep, I think this was done pretty well. Definitely my favorite dish. Wow, here. really? I like the texture. They, like, they, they really broke it down. Yeah. Soft, flavorful. My favorite is the bone marrow. That's it from Contiki. Let us wrap up. So, what do you think was Monty's favorite? Based on his reaction and mm -hmm. his 
speed at yep. eating. Probably the pork meatballs. I thought that was pretty cute though. Being able to sit with yeah. your dog at the table and then while he eats, you also eat. I love that. And that's what Monty would say, woof, woof, woof. What's your favorite thing? I would have to be super basic. Mr. Bucket as Mr. my Bucket. favorite. Uh, I just love the environment the a lot. Coffee. I like total seafood. That's I, very like, your like vibe. Like the steamboat soup. Oh, God. The curry fish head. Mm. And that's the end of this episode, right? Is that right? You finally get to go home. Remember to like and subscribe and bye, Monty. Say bye. Bye bye. And, okay, Monty, come. Bye. Okay, bye. Oh, he's so happy. Ah, so happy it's over. Okay, Monty. Wait, we should take like a photo. Of Monty? Sure. Do you want to hold him? Uh...